PC Perspective's coverage of the 2011 Consumer Electronics Show is brought to you by MSI. I'm here with Matt from NVIDIA, Director of Product Marketing for Tegra, and they're going to talk about a little bit of the magic stuff they announced today at CES. Hi, Matt. Hey, Ryan. How are you? Good. So let me tell you what we're, uh, what we're talking about today. This is the first Tegra Superphone. And what's cool about a Superphone and what's cool about the LG Optimus 2X is that it has full HDMI, 1080p HDMI support. So one of the cool things you can do is you can actually see the full Andro uh, Android menu on the screen behind me here. So you can scroll through very, very snappy interface. You can see all your different applications. And then actually, why don't we go through and uh, look at a video? And one of the cool things, again, about this phone is that it does 1080p encoding and recode, uh, decoding, all the, uh, encoding and decoding, right? So you can actually um, record videos with the phone in 1080p. It's the first phone to be able to do that. And then it will also enable you to, uh, to play back video at 1080p. Once I find my video library, I can do that. Um, and the, again, the cool thing is all 1080p on the phone, and it'll automatically switch onto the TV. You'll see the display is blank on the primary display, and it'll output at 1080p on this uh, on this display behind me. It also has, this phone also has 7.1 audio support, so you can actually hook up your home stereo to it, get full bass, the in entire experience. It's just uh, absolutely fantastic. So for instance, you can be on the bus, watching the video, store it on your phone, get home, plug in HDMI, and see it on the big screen. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, I know you guys also demoed some gaming features of these devices as well as the tablets, right? Absolutely. So let me show you on this a game. Um, one of the cool things about Tegra, first of all, 1080p deco like we were talking about. But one of the primary benefits is the dual core ARM. So it's the first mobile processor to have a dual core ARM CPU in it. Uh, and then also it has NVIDIA graphics, right? There's the heritage of NVIDIA built into this product. And let me show you what that means. Um, one of the cool things, again, is games. And what we're going to show here is a game called Galaxy on Fire 2, once it launches. Uh, and what we're really doing with Tegra is bringing that console quality gaming over to mobile devices. And what you're going to notice is just very high, uh, high quality graphics and visuals. Um, you're going to be able to see uh, you know, just a lot of shading and textures um, that developers are able to put into their games because Tegra is in the device. And again, this is Galaxy on Fire 2. Um, and it's all on a mobile phone. And the other cool part about Tegra is that it enables game developers to develop games that are multiplayer. This one specifically isn't multiplayer, but it enables you to do multiplayer gaming across different platforms. So you can imagine playing with your phone uh, a game against somebody on a PC or a PlayStation 3 um, all at the same time multiplayer. So it's pretty fantastic. So that's this phone. Very cool, very cool. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, I'm here with Jeremy from Trendy Entertainment, who's going to talk a little bit about uh, the new title they're working on and, and uh, Tegra tablets and cross-platform development. It's pretty interesting stuff. Hi, Jeremy. Hey. How you doing? Good. <laughs> so this game is Dungeon Defenders. It is developed for the Tegra 2. But the interesting thing is, unlike most mobile games, it's also developed and running on the PC, the PlayStation 3, and the Xbox 360. And what's really special about the Tegra 2 is that from a, from a, a traditional game development standpoint, it's powerful enough to run the same game that you're going to play on your home console now on a mobile device. And that enables all versions of the game to run online simultaneously where everyone can play together. So, so you can have a guy on the 360 and a guy on the couch playing on his Tegra tablet at the same time? Exactly. And for an online role-playing game, that's a really good thing because yeah. it means the addiction never has to stop. <laughs> you can just keep playing when you have to go somewhere. That's, that's, I don't know if that's good news, but that's good news for you guys, that's for sure. Um, so what did you guys think about development and the power of, of the systems that you got a hold of with the NVIDIA platform? So Trendy Entertainment has a lot of experience making PC games. In particular, we use Unreal Engine 3, the same technology that powers Gears of War, Unreal Tournament, those, those great games. And the interesting thing about Tegra is that Tegra 2 is the first hardware that kind of has the same capabilities as a PC hardware. That means the GPU can use the same texture formats, it can do the same kind of graphics post-processing effects, it can push the same number of vertex and poly counts as a good PC graphics card. And you didn't get that kind of uh, uh, ability on previous phone platforms then? It wasn't as easy? It would run like crap <laughs> on previous phone platforms. Cool. Alright, well thank you very much. Thank you.